it up, Alfin! Hey, you too, Lord Man! Haste makes waste, young one. Oh, don't even start with me on that! Come on, we're keeping everyone waiting! He's right. Shion and Rinwell must be getting impatient with us, too. I don't believe that's the case. Look, they seem to be enjoying themselves. It feels so comforting to just sit quietly side by side, next to each other. And being able to follow through with something you've set your mind to like that. It's dependable, you know? Wow, you really have a soft spot for that sort of thing, don't you? Hmm? Are they talking about... Yeesh. Kinda awkward if we butted in now, right, Alfin? Not at all. We should say something. No, no. It would be rude of us to interrupt. Let us assess the situation and choose the time to make our entrance with propriety. You mean eavesdrop? Personally, I really like those light, nimble movements. There's a graceful fluidity to them. And the strike that comes afterwards, it's always so cool, no matter which way you look at it. Strike? Hold up! For me, it's the poise I'm fond of. That dignified demeanor never seems to falter, all while staying alert and being receptive to even the most subtle shift in sounds. Hmm, sounds. I know, and those big, beautiful, thoughtful eyes. I keep finding myself inadvertently gazing into them. Big, beautiful, and thoughtful? She's right! Elfin does have beautiful eyes. But if anyone has thoughtful eyes, it's Dohalim. But surely big eyes refers to law? I can't wait to see Zare again. A cat! cat! about it sure doesn't seem like any sort of festival I've got a very bad feeling about this the way they didn't seem to be listening to anything brings back some bad memories huh what we saw at Volron's castle you're right just what's going on and those masks yeah they look just like the iron mask I once wore we should find someone who can fill us in. They're all wearing masks. They aren't responding to anything we say. What's going on? Maybe we can find someone without a mask. They're all wearing the same masks. Even the Renans. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? It's useless. What's going on? Do these come off? Removing them should be our last resort. If the masks caused this, who knows what happens if we take them off? Hmm. They don't look hurt, but they're so silent. It's creepy. Either Den and or Renan is fine. Isn't there anyone here without a mask? Maybe they've taken shelter somewhere. Let's have a look around. Who is it? Bayfun? You're safe. What's happening? What was wrong with those people out front? Well... A while back, some very odd folks showed up in town. They were all wearing masks, but there were both Renans and Danans among them. But that wasn't the weirdest part of the whole thing. Who do you think was leading them? I don't know. Who? Nazamil. <sighs> what do you mean? How could Nazamil be leading them? It's exactly as I said. Only one person was wearing a different mask than the others, and it was her. 
no doubt about it. They called themselves Cal Basil. The one path. They said they had come to bring peace. However, their methods made that very hard to believe. They started putting those masks on all the people here, and you saw what happened to them after that. You mean you couldn't stop them? What happened? Where were the Dark Wings? Nazamil was using some astral art. It was nearly impossible to resist her. I see. But you managed to slip away and hide here. What is Nazamil up to? Turning people into her puppets with those masks? They say they bring peace. And I guess technically, they can't fight if they're all being controlled like that. Nazamil told us to be patient a little longer, didn't she? Whatever is going to happen, it must be imminent. Do you know where they were headed? Shinefall Woods, in Ganeth Harrows. I know it's odd, but when someone asked where they came from, that's where they said their base is. They're not even trying to hide? Could it be some kind of trap? We'll just have to go and find out. I see no other options. Phase one's coming along well. Soon, phase two will come. Everything is going perfectly. Just you wait.
It's fine. I was just surprised to see him appear out of nowhere. I'm sorry for worrying you. Xion, do you still have some of your anxieties from when you had your thorns? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes I still panic when someone approaches me too suddenly. You know what they say about old habits dying hard. Right. That must be difficult. But overall, I've gotten pretty used to physical contact with others. It makes me happy more than anything. The joy of human contact. Hearing that from you of all people makes it sound all the more wonderful. Yeah, I'm with you there. And also, I think it's easy to forget as you grow older, but just the warmth of another can be really comforting. It's cold in Cislodia, but when I hug Hoodle tight, it warms me right to the soul. I remember how, whenever I was feeling anxious or when times were hard, my brother would silently rub my back. The warmth of his hand told me that everything was going to be all right. It was reassuring. Yeah. It's a way of communicating without words, isn't it? I've still only experienced that a few times, but I think I understand. Well, for what it's worth, you're always welcome to hug me. Or even just lean on me. Whenever you want. You too, Rinwell. Yeah! 
And the same goes for the two of you with me. <laughs> you too, Hoodle. Look, Xion. Kisara's waiting for us with open arms. Uh, really? Now? Uh, well, all right then. I guess it'll help me get more comfortable with this sort of thing. <sighs> Thank you. Both of you. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. They could have something they need from us.
I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? We're in for a long slog with this here one! Here I come! Take this! Here. First strike! Here I come! Uh, can't get out of this! Reload! Blazing force! Damn it! Go it's over! Into the fray. Get to do it! By the You're power of one! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Was that too much? Here Not at all. all. And then the power of the Going in. Take this! Put it on Not much longer to go. Come on. Next One final push. I'll take you all on. Ha! Flare the Malata! Let's finish this. Yukara, I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life. That the Zugal we're looking for? Don't get careless! Don't tell me! Lunar Hurricane I'm like bait to them! Glacial Zugal! Hurricane Zugal! immobilize that one! Indeed, that does seem wise. Now let's turn the tide! Here's Eagle the Here I come! Luna Corruption! Strike! Eagle, come on! Uh, Gemini Aqua! This one's all mine! I'm gone! Swallow Blade! Ignite! Here I'm not done! I'm not done! I'll heal you all! Blazing Blade! I'm gone! Here I come! Swallow Blade! Look sharp! Keep pushing forward! But don't go too far! Stay close! Right! Right! right. Sorry! This one's mine! Those two really haven't changed a bit! It's over! Challenge Hurricane! Eagle Drive! I'm on a roll You're now! Mine. Screw it! I'm not done! Ridwell! Frozen! Hammer! And that takes care of the zoos! Wait, what's this? There's... It's more than just clothing here. The leftovers of some kind of meal. What's it doing in a place like this? For now, let's report back to Ulzebeck. I guess camping isn't so bad, as long as it's with good company. There's nothing more relaxing than petting a happy hoodle. I'm so lucky I get to do the- Now then, are we prepared to depart? Oh, 
I'll show you something! In an instant! Impact block! Here I go! He's there! I'll go in! This could be useful. That was quite the little adventure we went on. What is it, Hoodle? You want me to pet you? Ow! Woo! Bullseye! Hoodle coming through with the perfect distraction. Real up. Honorable, throwing snowballs at people's heads from behind. Take this! Ha! You'll never hit me. Hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Ha! 
Huh? Yeah! Yeah! La? Yeah. Oh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> La? Hey! Whoa! An embroidery class sounds like so much fun. What do you two want to make? I want to embroider an image of Hoodle. It'll be the cutest thing ever. I want to make something cool. Maybe start by deciding what exactly that is. But I look forward to the finished products. Both of them. Elfin.
Right. Right. Is Nazamil really out here somewhere? These woods are pretty huge. This is the only lead we've got right now. We'll search this place from top. Up. To bottom if we have to. it's with good company. I find the sounds of the night to be rather comforting. Don't worry. Once I finish folding these clothes, I'll go to sleep. I couldn't eat another bite. Eating is one of your great passions. What? N no, it's not. There's nothing to be ashamed of. The Snake Eyes. What are they doing here? And those masks? Wait. Almost no response. Just like the people in Niez. It must be the masks, right? Most likely. The Snake Eyes want Renins in power again. Normally, they'd have attacked us or called for backup by now. And the masks are powerful enough to pacify even them. What has Nazamil started? I don't know, but we don't have enough information to speculate. I see what looks to be a mausoleum. Not a bad place to use as a base. Let's hope Nazamil is there too. Come on. Nazamil, now! Hurry up and kill him now! The great and terrible Water Lord relying on the strength of another? How utterly pathetic. What the hell have I been keeping you for all this time? Do something, Nazamil! Now! 
Someone who clings to others' strength is not qualified to wield power or reap its benefits. Die. It is just for the strong to dominate over those who are weaker. Being different is meaningless in the face of sheer power. And yet, the one who taught me that still died in the end. The truth is that people will always doubt, hate, and reject anything that's different, including me. <sighs> We're investigating the mausoleum, aren't we? Let's go! Is it okay for us to just ignore those snake eyes? It doesn't seem like they're aware of us, so I think it should be okay. They better not suddenly jump out from behind us or anything. Uh, why would you say something like that? So there are some doors even Alfin can't open. Oh well, let's find another way. This wall's damaged and connects to a cave. We can use this to get further inside. I wonder if we can get back to the mausoleum. There seem to be damaged areas throughout the complex. Let's hope they're connected to one another. There are Zoogles in here, too. Much like those outside, they don't seem to be controlled in any way. How'd the Cal Basil guys get through here without being attacked by the zoo? Maybe there's a safer path, like that door we couldn't open earlier. We're in for a long slog with this one! Sonic Thrust! Far enough! Pierce through! Sonic Thrust! No further! Anything in armor is like a hurricane flight! Hurricane flight! Hurricane flight! Rising Phoenix! Get toasty! Burn strike! Okay, done! Marker. Who's next? Hurricane Don't flight! Believe. Immobilize that one! Indeed. It does seem wise. There. Now let's turn the tide! Right there! Huh? One more! I'm all stuck up! Sonic Thrust! You're mine! Feels like a part of me now. 
Have you ever thought of wielding two at once? Would be double the firepower and plenty of style to boot. What use is style when it's life or death? Everyone here's wearing a mask too. No response. It's like they can't even see us. This is creeping me out. Let's get going already. Is that? What could this be? Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Well? Well? Someone's there. The Blazing Sword? What are you doing here? One of the Snake Eyes not wearing a mask? So an enemy? Wait, I don't want to fight. Pretend you didn't see me, please. What's going on? Why aren't you wearing a mask? This used to be our base. Then they took it over. They? You mean Cal Basil? Yeah, them. They appeared out of the blue and put those masks on everyone. We fought back, of course, but the kid leading them was too strong. There was nothing we could do. Nazamil. My friend's personalities totally changed once they were wearing those masks. They joined the other side. It was terrifying. I found a chance to escape before they could put one on me. A sudden change of personality. Sounds like those masks exert influence on the mind. One more thing. How can Cal Basil travel safely with all the Zookles around? There's a special passage. Thing is, it only opens if you're wearing one of their masks. Should have known. That means we can't use it, though. No way we're putting on those masks. So, what do you say? I don't want to get captured again. Not after all that. Fine. You can go. We should go, too. We have to find Nazamil. I'd wondered how Nazamil managed to create an entire organization so quickly. So she used the power of the masks to take over the Snake Eyes. But why would she control people like this? Looks like we can swim across here. I don't like getting my clothes wet. I guess this is no time to be fussy. I think I'll try to make that new recipe with this. All right, but I'll decide how spicy. It is. Uh. I know it'll be fine, but I'm always hesitant to let the blazing sword get wet. I told you.
Don't worry about it. Our sword will be fine. Our sword? Hmm. How things change. What's that sound? I think it's coming from over there. Let's take a peek. This place... Is this... where they make those masks? The people wearing them seem different from everyone we've seen so far. Xion, wait! Do you see us? Yes. What can I do for you? She got through. What are you all doing here? What are you trying to accomplish? We maintain this facility to mass-produce and manage suppressors. Our goal, of course, is world peace. Suppressors? That must be the proper name for those masks. So, it's a tool to subdue the wearer's will. Wearing one makes you a doll, an empty shell. That's their idea of peace. That is only the initial state. Interference from the wearer's will creates conflict with the suppressor that must be compensated for. Eventually, the mind is calmed, and a harmony is reached between the two. Then everyone becomes the same. What do you mean, the same? We mean that we all share the same values. The same thoughts and ideas as the reigning visage. Our minds are calm. We have no conflicts. In other words, everyone wearing one of those things just does what they're told? This is wrong. Controlling minds? Forcing compliance? You can't call that peace! You've all got to wear those things and obey the reigning visage's orders, right? That's... There is no need to worry, for we have located the Keystone. The Keystone? The facility that controls all of the many mausoleums throughout the world. You found the mausoleum's control center? But how? By interfacing directly with the Keystone, the bearer of the reigning visage is able to harmonize even with distant suppressors. The world will be joined as one. All differences will cease to be. Alfin. Alfin? Are you the one called Alfin? So what if I am? Nazamil has been expecting you. <laughs> She waits further within this facility. You may proceed. Controlling people's minds with those masks? I just don't get it. Why is Nazamil doing this? And if she's waiting for us... Done. This is sure to give the others some much-needed energy. That enemy looks strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight it. Thank you. 
through all these caves and buildings. It's making me lose track of where we are. True. But at least we get to do it without wearing those masks. Speaking of masks, those Cal Basil guys didn't make them from scratch, did they? Probably not. I've seen them at other mausoleums. I'm sure it's another work of the Helganquil. They've been manipulating us in various ways. I suppose it was one of those attempts. But this place was the stronghold of the Snake Eyes, wasn't it? I wonder why they didn't try to use the masks. If Nazamiel has the same power as a Sovereign, maybe she was able to use that power to activate the masks. It was fortunate the Snake Eyes couldn't use them. In the end, their entire group ended up getting taken over by those masks, huh? Perhaps that's why Nazamiel was able to form Cal Basil in such a short period of time. But for what? What is she trying to do? They talk about bringing peace, but what they're doing is the exact opposite. There's no way they can bring about peace like this. And Nazamil should know that. <sighs> Did you guys see that technique? Hey, that was pretty impressive. I wouldn't want to have a bare knuckle fight with you. Indeed. I can tell it's the culmination of tireless training. <laughs> I'm full of potential, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled. Take what they said about the masks at face value? 
Didn't that seem a little too easy? Now that you mention it, no one here is even trying to stop us. It's gotta be some kind of trap. They said they're gonna bring peace, but... I have a bad feeling about this. They got me flanked! Now you see what I can do! Here I come! Shot. I'm not done! Oh, They're above us! Shion, you know what to do! It's my turn, done. is it? This I'm on it! Go get it, Shion! I always feel safe when we've got you in front of us! I'm not done! Soar! Far enough! Mega Ray! Do it! I'm not done! Not today! Go for it! Take this! Hear me! Flame of Fury! Burning! Not on my watch! Do it! You're full of cap! Blow them away! I'll hear Not a chance! Here goes! Can't get out of this! How is the time I owe you one! Inferno Hunt! Lightning! Thank you for all your help. Please, I'm in trouble. I'm glad to know someone's got my back. Kisara! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! <sighs> Thanks for the cover, Kisara. You weren't too shabby yourself. We seem to have come across something a little unusual. Hey! Look at that door! Nazamil's. And that room must be hers. Let's take a look inside. Pretty dreary place. No decorations or anything. Is this Nazamil's room? Hmm. They say that a room is a reflection of its inhabitant. Then, what does this say about her? From what everyone said, she's supposedly the leader of this group. But this seems like... This room. Once, back when I lived on Lenegas, my old room looked a lot like this one. It doesn't contain anything beyond the basic necessities. It's just a place to sleep. Are these... us? I wonder if Nazamil drew them. What's this? Everyone in the Forbidden Zone, and my father who sent me there, all they cared about was my power. I thought that, that if, if I, I did what, what they wanted, wanted they, they would, would accept, accept me. me. But I was, but I was wrong. wrong. Because, because I have Ganon blood. blood. Because, because I possess all, all six elements. elements. Because, because I was sent back from the Forbidden Zone. zone. Because I'm different. different. I'm, I'm not Renan. Renan. I'm not Ganon either. either. And it, it was, was all my, my fault. fault. It was my, my fault. fault. I was different. I always believed that. I believed, I believed there was there nothing was I could do. could do. But again, I was wrong. I was wrong. It, it wasn't, wasn't my, fault. my fault. I finally understand that. And I know what I have to do. Nazamil. Because she was treated so horribly for her differences, she thinks she can solve her problems by using those masks to make everyone the same. But why? She knew we accepted her, and she was so happy to be with us. So how could she... No matter how hard her life has been, it is no excuse to manipulate people's hearts. We have to stop her. 
We can't let her do this. But why would Nazamil do something like this? And why now? She has... <laughs> ...endured a lot of hardships over the years. Maybe meeting us set something off inside her. We should hurry. We have to stop Nazamil. Stay calm, Alfin. Nazamil. Is it true you're trying to forcibly alter the wills of everyone in the world with those masks? If you mean the suppressors, then yes. Come on! You sure the hell Gankwil aren't forcing you to do this or something? That's it, right? Sorry, but no. They are asleep. I merely looked in on their thoughts. That's how I found out about the suppressors and about the mausoleums. So you're able to read minds? I see. So that's how she learned of the Keystone. You can't get rid of everything that's different by compelling everyone to think like you. Hmm. Yes, I know. That's why I'm making their minds all the same. Same as mine. Oh. I like all of you more than I can say. If everybody has my thoughts, they'll automatically like you too. You want them to... like us? So you're trying to brainwash everyone in the world because you want to do us a favor? For years, I have put up with their hatred. I could bear it if it were just for me. But I can't stand the thought of my friends being hated. Not my best friends. The first friends that I've ever had. I will not let anyone hurt you. You don't have to do this. Now, come on! It'll be done soon. Don't worry, Alvin. I just sent out orders from the Keystone. To have suppressors put on everyone. <laughs> what the... What? You can't. What you're trying to do here... Controlling people with these masks of yours. It's tyranny! I wanted to make you happy. Nasamil, please stop this. Come back with us. No way. Why would you say something like that? Oh. Nasamil, listen. I'm doing all this for you. You're supposed to be my friends. Why are you throwing it back in my face? Nasamil! I get it. It's because I was useless, wasn't I? Why do you despise me? Of course I don't hate you. I have an idea. All I have to do is put my thoughts in your heads as well. Then we'll be the same. <sighs> oh. Nasamil! Try to make it quick. If everyone has a suppressor, everyone will be the same. Then they'll like me again. Then they'll be happy again. No, Nazami. You're wrong. It's okay. Soon we'll all be the same. Glacial Spear. Pierce! Strike! Make one where you go! Hurricane! 
We're your friends, aren't we? Trouble! I have no limits! Here I come! Here, let let now you see what I can do! Strike! First aid! Appreciate the help! Eat this! Hurricane! 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 Hurricane!
However, that power must be taking its toll on her. Right! We've got to stop her quickly! Sonic Hurricane Flight! Take this! Hit! Burn it! Swallow it! Let the evil! Let the evil rise! Not today! Let the marksman go! Far enough! This one's mine! Stop this, Nazamil! Why? Why would you interfere? What you're trying to do is tyranny! Listen to me! I knew you hated me! Nazamil! Start up! Annihilation! Lightning! Downfall! Hurricane Flight! Lunar Corruption! Lunar Blast! Lunar Fire! You're mine! All the things come to this. I'm out of this trouble. Right right this one's mine. Annihilation. This one's mine. Not today. Look sharp. I'm not the eternal one. In a bind. Reload. Okay, you're finished. I'm all stuffed up. Swallow the crumb. Destroy 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 the I'm out of ammo! Back into the fray! I'm on! Take it! Anything in order is all mine! Back to the Ready to go! Eagle Fly! No! I can't end here! Don't give up! Back to the fray! I never miss Watch it! Now you see what I can do! Far enough! Watch and weep! Gemini Aqua! Stay down. 
Yes. I should just disappear. <laughs> no, not Samil. Don't, don't do it. <sighs>
We couldn't stop her. We're not done yet. Let's follow her through that teleporter. It's no good. It won't activate. It must be locked from the other side. What's gotten into her? She said she was going to put masks on us, but then she put one on herself and fled. She reminded me of the people back in Niez. The one she put on is the reigning visage, the thing that supposedly controls the other masks, but... If that's the case, maybe it alters the mind of whoever wears it as well. So she used it on herself? Damn it. Why couldn't I explain better? She must think all of us are against her now. Calm down, Alfin. It isn't over yet. That's right. We have to go after her. Sure, but we don't even know where she went. Judging by what she said recently, it's likely she went to the Keystone. The only problem is finding out where that is. No, wait. The coordinates she used are still saved here. If we can enter these into another teleporter, then... You're a genius! So all we need to do is head to another teleporter, right? Yes. Assuming we're lucky enough to find one that isn't already connected somewhere. Hmm. Regardless, I think we should go back to Niez first. What Nazamil said before has me worried. She said she'd send our orders. You're right, we should check it out. Before we leave, we should seal this room. Nazamil might be able to unseal it with her power, but it's better than doing nothing. Are you okay, Rinwell? Nazamil has some crazy trick. Done. Let's head back to Nies. I wonder how things are going in Niez. I hope Bayfon and the others are safe. I guess camping isn't so bad. 
as long as it's with good company. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend... Ugh, my hair's gone all frizzy. It's the humidity. Here, let me comb it out for you. Thanks, Ma!